Hey there, I decided to make another video during the daytime with Mad Max Engage and also Navigate on Autopilot Engage. So this will give you guys a better perspective of what's going on around the vehicle as well as inside the cabin. Um, so we're cruising down the highway, we're heading towards the supercharger. We will have to switch highway in about uh, a mile and a half here. So we will have to be in the right lanes. So we'll see if it uh, requests us to change lanes soon. So it looks like it does on the display there. On the screen you see it uh, asks us to confirm a lane change to the right. And it does detect that vehicle on the adjacent lane. So we'll see if once we hit the, the cruise control column on the Model X here, or if you're in the Model 3, it will be your drive column. Let's see if it's switch lane. So it detects that car, the lane turns red. So it actually is accelerating now before it makes the lane change. And once it's clear of that vehicle, it decides to move over. And you can see it does not exit towards that highway uh, exit on the right there, continue on the adjacent lane. So it works really well in this latest firmware 2018.42.2. So we're approaching the highway interchange now, and we are in the right lane. This lane will split into two, so we'll see if Autopilot uh, with navigation on will follow the guidance to the right. And it does? No problem at all. And you notice it does turn on the signal when it bank towards the right there onto the different highway interchange. And again, it does turn off the signal automatically. Um, prior to this model X and S, you actually manually have to turn off the signal if you uh, engage a lane change assist when you have your signal on. So that's a great added bonus. Um, that was something the Model 3 only had and not the Model X or S. So we're running into a bit of traffic here. It's very common during uh, this hour in the afternoon during a weekday. And we'll see if Mad Max engage and we'll see how autopilot uh, change lane in this type of traffic. And with Mad Max Engage, Autopilot's uh, recommended lane change is more aggressive, so it will select the lane that is moving faster than the lane you're currently in. And if you notice on the display, uh, the Autopilot does detect adjacent lane next to the adjacent lane, so the whole highway. I'm not sure how it does it, but it probably uses navigation as well as the Autopilot camera to detect those lanes. So we'll be coming up to an exit soon in about a mile and a half, but what we're going to try out here is to get in the recommended lane uh, that Autopilot uh, want us to be in, and uh, it looks like that will be uh, the lane on the right here, as you can see the highlight there. So yep, it shows up on the display, recommended uh, lane change to the right. So there's a lot of traffic here, and I'm going to try and confirm this lane change but before I do there's a lane merging onto the highway so I'm gonna wait until that lane merge to close before I hit accept to confirm the lane change okay so the lane merging in is closing so I'm gonna hit the signal to accept the lane change and it's waiting for other vehicle to clear and it's moving over so it did leave a big gap, it did not move over in as aggressively mile, as I would anticipate in this right type of traffic. But it did it, and I felt safe going over, so that's not an issue. So we'll continue on this lane and we'll see uh, what happens. This lane actually does end and does become an exit, so the navigation uh, said that we need to continue going straight. So again, it's putting us in a situation where this lane is moving faster than the lane we were in. So now it's telling me to go back into the lane I was in. So we're just trying to ignore that and see what would happen. So we're ignoring that lane change request. It's, it's highlighted on the display there, but it's just going to go ahead and exit. So. It override the recommended lane change and it went onto the exit ramp 
it did accelerate a little bit but now it's decelerating there's no car in front of me so I don't expect it to come to a complete stop but surprisingly it it does and I'm not sure how it knows to stop but it's stop about um, half a car length before the double solid line so I'm taking control over it now so this is a surprise guys I, I didn't know that it can do this at the exit ramp um, at first I thought it detected that truck but on the display there was nothing in front of it so it actually came to a complete stop at the red light um, I don't think it detected the red light but something in the firmware I detect that it is on the exit ramp and there's a intersection there so again thanks for watching i'll continue to test this uh, latest firmware update and uh, we'll share with you guys other videos uh, in the model 3 next so stay tuned remember to subscribe catch you guys next time and again if you're in the market for model 3 srx definitely check out the description in this video and use a referral code if you don't have one to use this will help out the channel tremendously in getting us the firmware um, as priority to give you guys more content in the future. See you guys next time.